real quick grocery haul. I just picked up a couple of things so that my refrigerator isn't completely empty. And let's be honest, I really just needed a watermelon because it is so hot outside. It's been about 90 degrees, so I am dying. So if you've never had a sugar baby before, they're just basically a really sweet watermelon. And the best thing about it is that I have room for the entire thing. Like, I don't have to cut up the watermelon, which I never do anyway. If y'all know me, y'all know I just literally slice it in half and eat it with a spoon. I can't be bothered to be like busting out a container. It's not happening. I don't have to do anything. Now, by far, one of the most difficult things for me is already establishing a routine, number one, but then having to pick up that entire life and then establish it somewhere else is actually much more difficult than it seems because if you guys saw my last apartment tour, then you know that all of my things were in a very specific place because they matched the way I moved about my environment, the way I used my space in connection with my daily routines. That being things that I used the most often were closer within my reach and things that I used less often were farther away and organized in a specific manner and you get it right so here I'm just discombobulated one of the things that definitely suffered was my eating rituals in fact I want to say it actually took me like a full week to even buy groceries for my apartment but one thing that thankfully did not change is my most simple routine, which is when I first wake up in the morning, I just have my pre and probiotic on an empty stomach, which you guys saw earlier in the video. I think you guys might have seen this in like my pantry tour video where I showed you guys all of my supplements and broke down my vegan staples. This is the pre and probiotic from Seed. I first started taking this when I noticed that I was having a lot of digestive issues like bloating and indigestion as well. And the reason why I started the hunt for a probiotic is because I know how much our microbiome has an effect over our entire well-being. Like, did you know that probiotics can synthesize vitamins? So I first started taking this in October. October, I think was my first order no September so I first started taking seed in September and, and have been a customer ever since so even though this video is sponsored by seed these are not only my own opinions but I pay for this with my own money every month it's not provided to me for free the reason I went with Steed specifically, I can get it sent directly to me and not have to worry about the fragility because everything that I was looking at in stores was refrigerated. And I was concerned about like how stable they were because if you don't know, no matter how many billions of strands are in that probiotic, if they're not actually reaching your digestive system, it's not doing you any good. So what I like about this one is that the like VICAP delivery system that this one has ensures that those um, broad spectrum probiotics and prebiotics that are formulated specifically actually reach the colon and are able to take up residence in your body and create that harmonious environment that you need. And not only do they meet all of the other needs that speak to me as a customer, but they're also sustainable. So all of the packaging that you receive is fully compostable or recyclable or reusable, like the glass jar that it comes in. So if any of you guys want to check it out, you can get 15% off of your first month supply. All you have to do is use my code ARIAN15 at checkout and you can click the link in the description box to get started. I long for that feeling Why did it have to go away? I long for that feeling And uh, at this point, my vacuum has probably made a couple appearances at this point. But what you haven't seen behind the scenes is this. While this was perfect in my last apartment because it was perfectly sized and enough power to use on hardwood floors, in this apartment I've noticed that I have to vacuum pretty much daily and unfortunately this doesn't hold a charge for very long. Not to mention I also wanted to be able to use my vacuum on my sofa. So I got a new vacuum and while I was at it I also got this. Charging has commenced. it vacuums and mops your floor at the same time and I actually wanted to purchase this in my last apartment but a where was it gonna go and number two that apartment was so old that sometimes when you clean it didn't necessarily look clean which is a huge pet peeve for me because it's just unsatisfying you know it's like whatever the opposite of ASMR is 
content. Now for you guys, it's only been like a minute. You've seen about two episodes of moving vlogs, but I've been living with this semi-empty slash also still cluttered somehow space for far too long. So I really wanted to buckle down on buying a dining room table. And I thought that I found one, or shall I say, I did find one finally, but I'm a very visual person. So I really needed to see what that looked like. Seeing it for me is just visualizing how it actually fits into my space. And some people can measure with their eyes and say, yeah, that, that's about right. No, I want to feel it. I want to sit down with it. I want to become comfortable with it. So I decided to take those dimensions of said table and put them onto the floor. Here I'm just using electrical tape to do that and this just gives me a better idea of also how I want to configure my furniture because I also wasn't really sure about what I wanted the living space to look like. So I played around with that for a little bit. And also finally got around to actually filling the organization pieces that I got in the last haul. So I put away some of my glasses, some jewelry, and I also really needed to tackle my um, nail organization. If you follow me on Instagram, this is probably no news to you because this is basically all of the tips that I have either posted there or on my YouTube channel because if you don't know, that is actually how this channel got started. So this is just a collection of um, a lot of the stuff that I posted on Instagram. So if you guys want a closer look at any of this, you can see it there and make sure you follow me because if you miss the OG videos, then you'll notice that you'll find more of that there in Reels. Mm -hmm. 